All right. Tower of God time. Talk more about fall anime after. After we finish the chapter. But um, 163. Last week we did 160, 161, 162, right? I think we, did, we read three chapters last week, which was fun. They were fun chapters. They were really good chapters. I liked them a lot. And we left off with um, Laura giving information about Robodon and all that stuff to Bomb so that um, Bomb and Robodon possibly could work together and going against Trauma. But at the same time, we have Yama and Doom with the um, Beast people, the Beast Kin, going i can't remember where they were headed to but they're on like a transport ship and all the beast people are supposed to be getting wiped out and robodon's like behind it so then they come out powers all this stuff blah, 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 like all that stuff's happening so robodon's about to throw down seemingly oh kidding is also a traitor he's gonna he's planning to overthrow we got all a lot of stuff happened last stream that was fun so um just hop in let's see what 163 has in store for us all right 163 here we go are you wang wang's son yeah okay all right are you wang wang's son you know my father i knew it was you this guy is so powerful. Welcome back to Lopobia's battlefield. Son of Wang Wang, such a cold panel. I'm the commander in chief of Lopobia's field army. My name is Robodon. I like how it's like the, the lines give it like the impact, like it's shaking. <laughs> Kasong's library, okay. He's so strong. Even if I weren't injured, I'm not sure I could beat him. Robodon's that strong. Mm. Right? Robodon's that strong. It's cool. This is pretty much it. This is my guy. Looks different, though. Well, I'm not sure. Got the glowing arms now. Right? Pants are cut off. He's got the shoulder tufts. The shoulder tufts seem so much bigger than last time. I gotta, I gotta look at this. Shoulder tufts of hair look so much bigger than last time. The just me, or is bigger mean powerful? It, they look so much bigger than the last time. Let's pull it up. My bad. I'm sorry. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, this is a couple chapters ago. Um, where is it? Ankel, where is it? Right here. This is it. This is the look we're looking for. We got it. Are they? They're, they look floofy now. Before they were sharp and jagged. Now they're floofy. But that's it. This is This is what I've been waiting for. So I've been waiting for. Hair now looks floofy. The shoulder hair anyway. It's floofy. It's like a little fluffy and everything. Right? <laughs> it's a little fluffy. Alright, let's continue. But the beast kin are watching. I won't be humiliated in front of them. I don't care what your name is. Get down here right now and beg for forgiveness. Otherwise, I refuse to talk to you. Okay, now he's got to talk spicy in front of the beast people. We get it. If this could be resolved with begging, I would gladly do so. But as a commander of the army, shut up. But as a commander of the army, I was saying shut up to him. But as a commander of the army, I don't think I can do that. Is there any other way to appease your anger? I like Robodon as... Robodon is understanding Robodon. It's like they're both in situations where they have to, they have to like show that they are powerful. Like Yama is the leader of all the beast skin. 
So Yama has to like stand up the fact that a ton of them just was slaughtered. He has to like put on this bravado. But then Robodon's like, I'm the general of the army. It's like, if I could appease all this for you, the situation though, I can't do that. Like, is there any way that we can come to a solution without us fighting? I would much rather that than try to fight you. I just, he's like, I, that's not what I want to do right now. All right, let's continue. Fine. In that case, let everyone here go, including all the beast kin you were rounding up for the war. If you do that, I'll forgive you. Doom's wings aren't purple. Is that something I was supposed to notice before, but I don't, I didn't notice now. I'm afraid I can't. Then how do you expect me to forgive you? Son of Wang Wang. Your father was an outstanding warrior and a loyal subject who proudly sent canines into battle for the family leader's sake. Is the son of such a genuine warrior really going to disappoint me like this? Ew. Wang ugh. Wang Wang also was like loyal to a fault too like he was so loyal that so many people would it, uh, all right i've heard enough that's a go all right all right all right okay yeah see <laughs> more panels that i could get with him looking like this yeah yes i'll take it <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta save this. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm I'm ruining this, but I I have to save this. My bad, my bad. In a second, in a second. I'll rename it. I'll rename it. Come on. Alright, here we go. Alright, my bad, my bad, my bad. Why the hell would I be proud that my father dis yeah, that my father dedicated his life to an asshole like the family leader? I admire your spirit. However, that being said, no one is permitted to speak of the family leader in that way. I like Robodon, man. What? Who is it? Flower Petals. That's, um, what's her name? I'm the one. All right, hold on. Let's talk, Robodon. This guy's still alive. Yes, Racha, I know you, you're from Jihad's army. I'm former Army Corps commander, yes, Racha. Why don't we discuss this, Robodon? You always listen to reason. I like Robodon. Robodon's an older man. He's understanding. He has his ways about him, but he's definitely understanding. He'll talk, but if you're talking is nonsense, then it's just like, I'm gonna do what I have to do. I like that. I like that a lot. He's not quick to like jump straight into just un irrational behavior. I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm not sure how many troops you have with you, but if you fight us despite the upcoming war with Pobedal, with the Pobedal family, you'll suffer huge losses. We have three high rankers alone. To be honest, if we fight back as hard as we can, we might very well be able to wipe out all your troops. That's saying something. Is yes, Archer counting himself the three high rankers? We're counting Yama. We're counting Doom. I would count Doom. Are we not counting Doom? We're counting Doom. Are we counting Do One? Or we is yes, Archer counting himself as well? Because he's on the brink of death. I don't think he'd be counting himself. Or maybe, maybe he is counting himself just to make this play to Robodon. I don't know. Here we go. Besides, Wang Wang and I have the power to control the beast kin. Unless you want to be the only survivor to charge into battle with Bobadal's army, I suggest you join us at the negotiating table. What is he going to say to that? Three high rankers. <laughs> it's like three high rankers. If that's true, then this is a very tricky situation indeed. Honestly, would do we count to one as a high ranker? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes, I would count her as a, a high ranker. 
he's looking at the three high rankers then. Pretty much. Yeah, he's looking at them then. What's more, it doesn't seem wise to antagonize that man, Yasracha. All right, you see, he's rational. Very well. Let me hear what you have to say, Robodon's room. I don't think he's counting himself if that's the case. Is Doom's is is Doom's color reverted to black because he gave over the power of the Fang to um, Yama? Like I don't. This is something I just noticed this chapter because he was purple before, right? I need to pull up a panel of Doom. He was purple before. He wasn't solid black, right? Maybe, may, maybe it was black, just feathered. But is no, he was purple. Let's see if I have another one. Am I serious? I only have one screenshot. That can't be right. That can't be right at all. This is the only image I have of Doom. I know I slowed down on taking screenshots, but I figured I'd have way more than just one image of Doom. Yeah, start of season three. You got Vatagarv. There's Paul. Tall. Yama. Yama again. Jordan. Yama again. Yama again. Yama again. Yes, Racha. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Yama again. <laughs> the Doom picture we're looking at. Image of Paul. A bunch of Yvonne Kell, a bunch of White, a bunch of Bomb. Yeah, I only have one image of Doom in here. That's kind of crazy. I thought I at least would have two or three. Yeah, because I'm looking at Robodon right now. I'm looking yeah, I haven't, I haven't taken one of Doom. That's crazy. I only have one image of Doom. Paul's got more than one. That's crazy. I only have one, one Doom picture. But he was purple in that one. I don't know. All right. Robodon's room. <laughs> the, look at the lights that he has in here. A slayer and his older brother, a hero from the wall, and an army corps commander from Jihad's army. So this is a an assortment of characters, right? I'm not sure how you all end up ended up together, but that's an impressive lineup. Yes, it is. Let's get oh my gosh. Let's get right down to business. What do you want? We want you to set all the beast kin here free. How come they just how come is there a reason why Bomb can't well he doesn't know that Yama is facing um, answer my own question. I mean, why doesn't he just talk to Yama? But we he doesn't know that Yama's face to face with the robot. On. So I'm like, I was about to be like, why is he just blah, blah, blah? My bad. We want you to set all the beasts can hear free. We don't care about the war among the 10 family leaders. Just let the beast can go. That's impossible at the moment. We need those beasts can right now. Yama, then we're done talking. I'll gladly fight you. <laughs> it's like, then we're done talking. Like, you're not going to let my people go? I don't have much else to say. Hold on, Yama. Don't be so impatient. Robodon, why are you leading your army away from the main battleship with the war coming up? Where are you heading? That's classified information. I can't tell you. Well, we can't negotiate with you unless we know that. All right. We're third parties in this war. I can assure you that we'll keep the secret to ourselves. You know, I wouldn't do anything to turn someone like you against me. All right. Yes, Racha being political. All right. Okay. Okay. I trust you. The place we're targeting. This is the secret library with the leader of the Lopobia, with the Lopobia, with the Pobodao family's hidden books. Okay, secret library. 
we we're, we've been told there's one book in particular that the Pobalao family leader has kept hidden there for a long time. Our mission is to secure the book and use it as a bargaining chip. We're going to ask him for a truce. That book must hold a truce. But isn't that against the wishes of your family leader? Our family leader didn't initiate this war. The Jihad family started it. Our family leader doesn't trust anyone around him, but he has absolute faith in Lord Jihad. This whole war began according to Lord Jihad's wishes, not our family leader. That's why I oppose it. Got you, okay? Because the only person who can give me my orders is my father, Lopo Biatramare. This is such an interesting situation to be in. That's such an interesting situation to be in where he's so loyal to Tramare. He's so loyal to Tramare that he only listens to Tramare. But Tramare listens to Jihad. Right? So it's, it's in a way, it's not similar down to a T. But how I'm I'm framing this and I'm looking at it similarly to how um what the hell is his name? Calavan. How Calavan operates, where you have Calavan who is a part of the army, Jihad's army, will do things, has his own agency, has people under him, and wants to do he wanted to do right by those people, he respected those people, he cared about those people. But at the drop of a dime, if Jihad said to screw those people, he would screw those people. Just like whenever he learned, we still don't know if it's ulterior motive or not. Whenever he learned that Jihad's will was whatever was going on, whenever he was fighting up against Lyberic, and they had that fight and he was like, wait, Jihad told you to do this, which resulted in all this and all these things that actually go against me. And he just sucked it up and dashed off and went and caught whoever it was. I can't remember who it was coming through the gate. To stop the rocket from destroying the gate if i'm not mistaken and it's like similar where it's similar but different it's like similar situations and in, in their relation to um a family leader or one of the 13 that's what i call them where you have robodon who is so loyal to trauma but trauma doesn't reciprocate that loyalty doesn't even i don't know how he views robodon but he doesn't view none of them as humans doesn't reciprocate that to them but he's so loyal to him and trom's doing all of this because jihad's saying so but now you have now robodon's in a situation where it's just like i don't respect him but i respect him so all of this that's going on i'm not with it at all so i'm going to in my own way betray the family to try to bring an end to this war because that's not what he wanted in the first place if he wanted to go through this war i'd be right in front leading the charge but because it wasn't his idea but his idea nah i'm gonna go off i'm gonna go do something else it's gonna look crazy to everyone else just like little dude however many chapters ago when we were first introduced to robodon and it was like why are we leaving blah, 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 blah. it's gonna look crazy but when i go and do this and i come back with this it's gonna bring this to a truce now pulling away from this he goes and does this and then brings this back to trauma or whatever what's stopping trauma to being like bro like nah like we're going we're definitely going through with this so i don't care about this book i don't care what you have i'm gonna take it i might use it but i'm still gonna do what he told me then it's like at that point then what does robodon like is he gonna be like okay fine cool whatever whatever punishment i receive then then okay because you're giving this to me or is he still gonna be like well you're acting like this because he told you to do this you really don't want to do that like how does that go at that point i don't know interesting interesting that we have these characters i hated 
Caliban for what he did. I'm I'm curious to see how I I don't have the connection that I have knowing Robodon for as long as I knew Caliban for acting specifically in specific ways. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Because the only person who can give me my orders is my father, Lopo Beatramore. And let me keep reading because there still could be some more information. Are you saying you don't mind fighting Jihad's army? It doesn't matter. I see now. I understand. Robodon, is that if that's how you feel, then this won't take long. Let me suggest something. We'll bring that book back. We'll bring back that book for you. What? <laughs> what? Why us? <laughs> If you just tell us where the book is, we'll sneak into the library and retrieve it. I don't know if Yama is capable of doing this. Maybe you, possibly do. Maybe the one, not Yama. In exchange, in exchange, if we succeed in bringing back the book, bringing the book back, damn it! Promise you'll release the beast can conscripted here. I don't know how many times I've read that word in my life. We'll take them with us. Yama, I know you don't like the idea of helping Lopobia's army, but if you want to save the Beastkin without losing any of them, this is our best option given the circumstances. But how can we trust these bastards and bring that book back for them? Robodon wants a truce. Once we have the book, he won't need the Beastkin as soldiers anymore. So he'll let them go. Right. Right. Besides, Robodon, besides, Robodon, if you really want a truce, wouldn't it be better to let a third party like us bring the book back for you? Yeah, because if all Gastong has to do is be like, you guys snuck into the, like, it'd be different to have, like, a different, a different party going all together, un, not connected to the Lopobia family, it'd, be, it'd, it'd work out better. It's like, oh, Lopobia took them down, then it's just like we could come back and make a deal. Very well. I accept your offer. Sure. Bring the book to me. Slams down. Guy's a man, man. <laughs> Inside one of Lopobia's ships. Let me get this straight. Operations room. You're saying that on this small, insignificant floating carrier, there's a book we could use to blackmail the family leader? That uh, That's the whole point. I, I think I, that's the whole point. I don't think... Striking this deal, it more so probably would just be like Yama or Doom, whatever. I don't think Yama, I don't think Yama can officially like put himself there. I don't know. It's weird. It's very weird. But then it's like we I don't know. I don't know if we know how Yasracha currently feels. Like since like post flashback, post fight, post almost death. Can he like defect? Like he's still Lopo Bia just because he was created by Trom. Yes. But it's like could he just choose not to be a part of the army if that's the case? Is that something he would want to do? Well, he's dying anyways. And it's something we have to remember. He's dying anyway. So it's kind of like, like, what, like, what is he setting up? I, the only really thing, the only thing. Yeah, it's like, it's true. I, I'm just thinking he spent so much time with these boys. We got the flashback. He's kind. It's kind of like he's with them right now. That's what it feels like. He's gonna be with them until he dies. Granted, it's a couple months from now. But that that's what it feels like. So, and officially he might be X, Y, and Z, but he's just moving. He's moving as the guardian of his best friend's kids. That's what it feels like right now. It's been so long since we got any of this. It's like I have to remind myself of where we left off after that fight where his core got destroyed. So it's I have to remind myself like what Yasaracha am I dealing with? Am I still dealing with the 
the bastard that we first got introduced to or the Asracha after the flashback who we kind of have more perspective on. It's been like a year, right? I think so. It feels like it anyway. All right, let me let me continue. You're saying that on the small, insignificant floating carrier, there's a book we could use to blackmail the family leader? That's right. This floating carrier is called a rot. Okay. On the outside, it's just an ordinary town. And in fact, it really is residential floating. It really is a residential floating carrier without any actual combat equipment. Okay. But we're certain that the book is hidden here. How can you be so? How can you be so, so sure? So sure. Our information comes from a source who's never been wrong before. There's no chance that they're wrong. So they're using a camouflage strategy, huh? But if you know they disguise the carrier as an ordinary town in order to hide the book, why did you bring such a large army with you to attack it? Because it's probably something crazy. Wouldn't they be more likely to find out and call for reinforcements before you get there? seems wiser to infiltrate the ship with a small number of people precisely that's why we're not sending these troops into the town our fleet is heading for this i'm not gonna lie when they showed this up here i thought that was them appro <laughs> i thought this was them approaching this my bad Advance Guard Floating Carrier Victor. It's a massive floating carrier run by someone from the Pobedal family named Hugo. If we can just get rid of him, the rest of the army there wouldn't be very difficult to defeat. They probably kept these troops there in reserve in case anything happened to the book. All right. Our plan was to pretend to attack this ship with the bulk of our forces while I sneak into the town alone and steal the book. Only the commander and I knew about this plan. Okay, so it's a very standard and straightforward. Even if they realize it's a faint operation, it doesn't matter. We can just wear down their army as much as possible and then recall our troops once we've held out long enough to retrieve the book. So you're saying we're going to sacrifice the beastkin for the sake of your plan? Of course. We can't use our own troops, <laughs> our own family troops as to act as cannon fodder. Yeah, I understand this way of thinking too, but I understand why he would be angry as well. We value our own people from the Lopobia family. It's not very different from the importance you attach to the beastkin exactly. Go ahead and criticize us if you like. It's it's the same way you care so much about them. They're going to care about their own family. They're going to use people. Just like if you had the choice to use, like if Yama had the choice to use people, he'd use people. So what's the new plan? Since we can't fully trust you all, we'll hold your older brother hostage, Yama. <laughs> Dude, we're putting a gun at him. <laughs> sure. Fine. Although I'm not sure he's worth much as a hostage. <laughs> hey, you jerk. <laughs> the woman will come to us will come to the battle the main battlefield with us, excuse me. While you two bring back the book for us. So Yasracha and Yama are going to go get the book. Hold on. He's in no condition to fight. He poked him in the head. Yama, be quiet. You can barely even stand. Do you expect me to look after you too? Don't go around telling people that. If they know I'm injured, they'll be more aggressive with us. It's like, you know he's got a thick one, right? We know he's got a thick skull. Don't worry. I may be somewhat weakened at the moment, but I won't hold you back. Yes, Raja. Then it's settled. Victor will pick up on our location soon. So you two had better slip off the ship before then and sneak into their town. I have a question. How did 
did Yama get into power again? Is it because he's just stronger than everybody? <laughs> Neither thing. It's like, how, how did that happen? Because it's like, it's just dense in here. I love them. I love them. Don't get me wrong. But it's dense in there. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. He's just like you beat him up. That's it. <laughs> yep. It's just he's he's just strong. That's what it is. Okay. So I had him like I have to think. It's like how the hell did he get in control? Thomas <sighs> faction is the WWE. <laughs> that's right. They had the freaking what is it called? Like the canine games every year where they have to go chase after the fang and all that stuff. Hey, hey, hey goodness i love him but boy is he dumb sometimes and since you asked us not to harm the beast kin we'll try to avoid fighting we'll try to avoid fighting pobedow's army as much as possible and focus our attention on building a line of defense to distract them but the longer this drags on the more likely we are to end up fighting them so if you want to minimize beast kin losses you better bring the book back soon We'll provide all the supplies in the floating ship you'll need to infiltrate their carrier. Op the, the operation begins tonight. If you take too long or fail or you fail the, your mission, remember the remember that what the what? <laughs> what the what? Goodness gracious. Remember that remember that war and the loss of beast skin lives will be inevitable. <sighs> well, good luck. This man does not have mesh on his shirt. Where did he get this from? I can't believe I'm on the same team as a half dead cat. I don't care if you die or not. I'm not going to save you. <laughs> Yama, bro, whenever he was fighting the last time, I forgot what he was, who he was fighting, but you definitely was yelling. Nah! You were yelling his name and stuff. I remember. I remember. Yeah, Mesh Vina is, is nasty. Damn, man. How, how can we get this panel? Hold on. How can we get this panel... And then this in the same chapter. Oh, gosh. Good. That's exactly what I want. Let's go. Uh. Middle area, Pobedal's line of defense. They're running up on me. They think they're Aaron. They about to die. Uh oh. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's up. It's up. It's up for them. Trauma. Ray. I don't see it here either. This is really bothering me. Okay, this, he's, I forgot he was looking. I forgot he was looking for the ship. All right, this is really bothering me. What the heck is that floating ship? Ooh. Hey, wussy. <laughs> hey, Gaston. If you're looking for something, come see me. Don't bother those poor little creatures. I'll send you my location. <laughs> and the fan in the fan scans. Oh, they replaced. <laughs> okay. <laughs> gotcha. Did I have his contact information in my pocket? I completely forgot since I never needed to call him. It would make sense that if y'all all were friendly at one point <laughs> that you would at least have that information no a 
It's so cool looking. I I'm just I love it. So cool looking. This is it. This is that floating ship. Look at him. Look at him step out. You came, Tramare. Our showdown is still a few days away. It isn't like you to be so impatient. For someone who barely leaves his house, it's strange to see you running around so frantically. <laughs> He's so clean walking out. Gaston. Pobelau Gaston's inventory level unknown. What am I looking? Gaston's secret, secret, uh, Gaston secret library. Did you finally decide to leave your house and come see me? This is what his inventory looks like? This is his inventory? Dog. Did you finally decide to leave your house and come see me? That's right. I wanted to see that smug face of yours. What the hell are you up to? And what's with that floating ship, Gaston? It's hard to say. I guess it just pisses me off. I mean, seeing you all doing so well after that incident as if nothing happened. That incident? You mean and jihad that's right you hid blossom's daughter and me in the dark hold on you hid blossom's daughter and me in the dark depths to keep the whole thing thing a secret time out i need context because i don't remember a lot of stuff i don't remember time out we're we're touching stuff we're finally getting some information. It's not as far back as I wanted to, but it's definitely another situation. I would love to get more information on the whole Anjad incident. Hold on. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Akora, just in time for best part. Wonder if it's one of Kasong's weapon or it's the weapon. No, that's his whole inventory. It seems like mine, mine. And Jihad was, yeah, I, I remember that. I don't remember the specifics. I don't know if we ever got specifics, but I do remember the panel because I did save the panel. And she's one of the um, individuals I would love to know more about. I definitely, 100% I saved this panel. I think I saved that whole damn chapter in here almost. But I'll pull her up on the screen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Karaka and Yuri, Enryu. Did I scroll past it? I did scroll past it. Here we go. Here's the panel. Right here, save this. Her does from this, she looks mad cool, right? Alright, so let me go back to the chat. Anja, yep, 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 yep. Trauma is surprising, calm facing the song. Pasama's Alita. Yep, I remember that. I remember that. The lowly. Mine. Meaning mine and Oh! Time out. After instant, after nothing happy. So, and Jihad is something, it's not, this isn't a memory that he devoured, seemingly. That's right. You hid, you hid Blossom's daughter and me. So, me is supposed to be mine. In the dark depths to keep the whole thing a secret. And got, that's right, she's the first person to have ignited two at the same time. And th that's where the whole, like, if you ignite two, you go crazy. That's where the whole thing came from. So we're we're learning that this is Gaston's kid. We didn't know this before, right? This is new information, right? Wow. We did know this? Damn it. I don't remember. If we didn't know this, I didn't remember. This... New information to me. <laughs> New information for me. I don't. Rem I didn't remember. Um. All right. Also, and learn about what he did to uh, Ireland. Right. 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 
we did on for goes to the 13 months okay so all i remembered was that she's the first one all i remembered is that she all i remembered was this is what i remember that she found out information like super sensitive information and instead of acting on it she decided to go to directly to jihad with the information and that resulted in her being confronted she's crazy she ignited both the weapons all of that stuff and then um she was locked away am i i'm roughly that's what i remember that's partially correct right i want to say that's partially correct and is like bomb child of two irregulars okay so we don't we haven't seen many direct descendants like robinon is close but robinon's a few removed she almost got all the 13 months found out the truth confronted she almost got all the 13 months found out the truth confronted jihad and went crazy and then got sealed away okay she that's she's the one that found arlen's pocket okay it's making sense now i don't Man, I, I don't think I've talked about her in years. Legit years. She's the one that found Arlen's pocket. I got it. I, I'm remembering that now because I could see the, um, I could see the, um, what's her name? Garum. I see the, right here. I see, I'm, like, I see these panels in my brain, right? Whenever I'm think whenever I think about that stuff, I see these panels of her pop up. I see him pop up. Can we go back to her? It's been so long since we've seen her. That's true. All the coons are direct descendants. That's true. That's true. That's true. Except for Lybrick, maybe. That is true. All the coons are direct descendants. But, okay, so rephrase. Bomb and... How many, how many, um, how many kids or how many individuals do we know are both sired from two irregulars? Just Bomb and Anne, right? Those are the only two that we know of. If there are more, please tell me. I'm asking. I'm definitely asking. I'm not acting like I know. I'm definitely asking whenever I'm talking about this. So foggy on all this information. right there is we might go back to the 43rd floor we're close we're, that's what i'm saying we're, that's what i'm like we're we're really close we're close it's implied that all of the branch leaders in the local b are direct kids of trauma ray think so because um what laura said was that last chapter or two chapters ago how whatever last chapter or two chapters ago that robodon is like he's direct like his lineage is directly from trauma Ray, but he's not directly from trauma Ray, if, if i'm remembering what she said that he's not actually like like his son he calls him a son this isn't the 44th floor so one of our locations where where a bunch of our characters are is on the 44th floor or or if not the 44th floor close might not be exactly this one where, that we read in this chapter where Yama and everybody are, but um, one of our groups is mad close to the 40, is mad close. If I'm not mistaken. Right? Right? On the 44th floor and a lot of characters who have plot threads in a row to the 44th floor. We are in the story right now. I want. I want to say that we. I don't know. I quit. <laughs> I gave up that fast. I quit. <laughs> I really think Ron and his group should be getting close to the fourth floor by now. It's been over two years, and Ron should have been should have recovered. Um, Robinon's ship is on the forty fourth floor, but everyone else are on different floors. Okay, there we go. Gotcha. I'm like I couldn't remember for the life of me. Couldn't remember at all. Okay, so let's read through this again. It pisses me off 
I mean, seeing you all doing so well after that incident as if nothing happened. When he says you all, is he talking about just the Lopopia family in general? Is that what he's talking about? He says you all doing so well. Just like the Lopopia family doing well pisses me off that you did this to my kid. That's right, you did. No, the engine hunt. So when he says you all, he's talking about everybody. Okay. I, I didn't want to jump to that conclusion first. Because I'm like, hmm, interesting. I want to jump there first. But he means you all. He's talking about all of them. Dude, this has to be this has to be a combo thing. It can't just be this one situation that sent him over the edge. And what I'm See, I say things, and then people are like, ah, ah. my brain's working so weirdly right now. My bad. I'm thinking because we know that Gaston and, and Jihad both had a hand in coming up with the princess system. I think we know we know that. So for one of his daughter for his daughter to have been it's one thing for his daughter. It's like how I would assume that she he he looks at her more special than anybody else that's part a part of the Pobelao family because maybe um she was a she was a child with um 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 um, um blossom with um with her because it's like you let your daughter go through the princess thing yada yada yada. And I say I'm saying that it's it's not only this situation because of the circumstances that we know of, the tiny little breadcrumbs that we know of, into why her situation happened in the first place. Like her situation happened possibly because of finding Arlen's pocket and uncovering what had already went down in the past between the thirteen. So that's why it has it has to be it has to be a combo thing where it's just like whatever went down back here and we all chose to go with this guy and not to go with them covering all of that up hiding all of that coming up with all this then getting to this point that this was his breaking point on screw you guys <laughs> this this was his breaking point where it's just like Okay, we did all this, but now my daughter? Like my kid? And none of y'all did the right thing? It, what it kind of feels like is Gaston, Gaston and, and company presented with something, looked at Arlen and V like, eh, no, we're not going to be with you. And then later in life, you get into a situation where you are now the person that everyone is like, ah, eh, no, you're crazy. And now you're looking at them like, how, like, how dare y'all? How dare y'all do this to me? And do like this, this, and that. And it's just like you were once one of those people looking at somebody else. That's why it has to be something. It has to be. Has to be. Has to be. Classic leopard eating people's facing party. Yeah. Song voice for the party and then his face got eaten. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what it is. It's exactly what it is. That's interesting. That's very... I, I don't think I expected that. I don't think I expected that. Not... I, I'm with you, too. Not his only motivation, but I think this would have... I think this might have been the... Like, the straw that broke the camel's back. Where it's just a lot of things. There could have been stuff for, right? There could have been stuff from when they were climbing that he pissed them off. It could have been the whole situation that happened with V and um, Arlen. It could have been, the, the I think the Anne thing might have been like, all right, <laughs> okay. Or he could just be using this. He could be using it as a way to just 
this issue was a lot for me. But in all actuality, it's something else. But then also, um, don't want to take away from the fact that we don't know what this girl meant to him. We know how some people are, where some people will, for lack of better terms, crash out. <laughs> some people will crash out for what to you seems small, but for, to, for them means everything. Like, we don't know. We know that him and Blossom aren't together anymore, but we don't know how he felt about that relationship. We don't know how he felt about this girl. We don't know how he felt about none of that. So for him, it could have been everything. That could have been everything. And like this whole thing could have, it could have just been, I'll, I'll ruin all of you for that one thing. It, it honestly could be. And I don't want to take that option away. I don't want to take that option away. It could, it could be. Every, every person has something that would that they would just unrationally just lose it over. And for someone else, it might be small. But everyone has that one thing. I don't want to take that away from their regulars. I don't want to. Because it's hard to look at Trom as the, 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 the grading point because he's weird. But they're all weird. But I don't want to take that away. Um, I find no reason to suspect that this song truly didn't love Blossom and thus loved the only child he ever had with her. Right. So, and being a significant reason for doing this is a valid, perfectly valid reason for me. Yeah, even if he is an inhumane monster, everyone else, including his other children. That's, I, I'm, that's where I'm kind of going with this, too. It's like, it's like, if he really loved her and that's the only thing to have come from their relationship that he had right i i could see so and we don't know we don't know like if this situation is the reason why they ended up not being together like in the long run i've been in multiple such multiple relationships where an event happens like in my life that fractures my relationship because i'm a little bit different after that and it's just like it's just not working so it's like ah so i i definitely can see that where it's just like there's there's no telling just, just, come on damn it all right oh, i want to keep reading man i want to keep reading i feel like i'm right there i feel like i'm right there to getting some really cool information there's is there any way we get a flashback <laughs> oh gosh is there any way we get a flashback <laughs> i want to keep reading so bad i feel like this next chapter or the ch chapter after might be flames and it oh man i'm dying man i'm literally dying i feel like it's right there all i gotta do is click a link or two and i could keep reading 